So hey everybody, hope everybody is doing well. This is Anish and I am a cloud coach and a technical instructor for the Amazon Cloud Institute uh, at Amazon. And uh, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be building over the next seven weeks. And I'm taking uh, seven app and uh, seven iPhone apps and deploying them to the app store over the next seven weeks where I'm going to be highlighting all the AWS services that we are going to be using. I should also mention that uh, given this goal, you all probably recognize that I'm a partial vibe coder. What that means is I do use AI assistance a lot for all my coding needs. Specifically, I use Cloud Code uh, quite a bit. Uh, I use ChatGPT quite a bit, and uh, I also use the, the Q developer uh, quite a bit as well. And so I just want to mention that if you're not okay with this particular idea, then uh, I'm not exactly the right person. This is something I use in my classes as well where I do encourage everyone to be able to use AI assistance for all their uh, coding needs. So with that, uh, I just wanted to say that over the seven weeks, you will be joining with me where we'll be building all these applications and then deploying them um, on the App Store. This is something that I put myself through and that, that's the reason I'm wanting to share with all of you. So. Cable Snap is going to be an application where we are going to use all serverless services on AWS to be able to build the particular application. Specifically, the services we are going to be using are API Gateway, uh, Lambda. You could use DynamoDB as an optional service to be able to gather data, but I'm not using it at this point. I'm not collecting any user data. So all these apps are going to be just MVPs. They are, uh, you know, scalable, highly available, just like every serverless services, but at the same time, um, you shouldn't think of them as directly production level applications. In addition, the final uh, step I'm going to be using is uh, using Cloud 3.7 and 3. Uh, and 4, sorry, Cloud 4 on uh, Amazon Bedrock. And so you can see that I don't use the latest and greatest models. For example, I'm not using agents and things like that. And uh, partially it is because I am trying to keep up with literature myself as well. But I also think that, uh, you know, knowing one or two things uh, pretty good, you know, these days all LLMs uh, are super good at coming up with really good results. And so that is probably the reason I, I'm sticking to Cloud for most of my use cases. And uh, Cloud 4 is what I prefer. And I have an if loop in my uh, code where if Cloud 4 does not work, I revert back to Cloud 3.7. So without further ado, let's uh, go into Cable Snap. Uh, hopefully everyone is okay with this particular plan and uh, can follow me. I'm planning to put everyday videos and I really am going to be as uh, diligent as possible while putting these videos. So Cable Snap is an application where the problem statement is a lot of people have cables that are connecting different devices. For example, there is USB-A to USB-C, there is uh, a USB-A adapter, there is a USB-A to a DC barrel connector. There are all these different kinds of cables and I for one person don't know what each of these cables are or what they even mean. And so given that this is a pain point, I wanted to decide that I'm going to build something where all I'm going to do is take a picture of a cable. Let's say the cable has gone bad or if I've lost the cable, in which case I'm going to take a picture of the device and what is going to come out as a result is going to be what kind of cable uh, do I need to buy and give an Amazon link where it directly connects to Amazon and um, you can go ahead and buy the cable. So this is what I've deployed for now. I deployed it yesterday and the reason being our summer cohort is just starting today and uh, I plan to show them a lot of similar kind of applications but go into more detail with uh, you know other services other than serverless like uh, Kubernetes, uh, ECS for orchestration. So different kinds of solutions I'm planning to show in class. So here I'm mostly focusing on serverless. And so given that this is uh, going to be the problem, let's look at how it works. So I'm going to take a picture of a particular cable. So you can see here that uh, this is a USB-A to a USB-C adapter. And if I take a picture of this and uh, go ahead and uh, use this particular picture, you can see here that it actually um, connects to AWS through API Gateway. 
and from API gateway it goes to a lambda function which connects to bedrock specifically the cloud 4 and the cloud 3.7 model it's going to make a choice there on which model it's going to hit and uh, it's going to come back with the result by telling what kind of cable um, is this so this is a USB C to a USB A adapter so it's not even a cable or it's not like a uh, connector on both ends that connects two devices so this is an adapter and it gives you details on the USB C connector and I've also put in the back end prompt on trying to tell what kind of uh, cable is needed for connecting to Windows devices and uh, and Macs for older PCs as well whether those kind of uh, connectors could be um, available for example in older Windows PC you probably don't have a USB-C connector things like that and so once you are comfortable with this uh, you go ahead and uh, go to Amazon and you can see here that these are the cables that are available and you go ahead and uh, purchase one of these cables so this is a teaser video for what you can look at on how we are going to develop this particular solution. I should also mention that I am not exactly a front-end uh, programmer other than I know um, quite a bit of React and uh, all the related libraries. But uh, uh, with respect to Swift, I am mostly a vibe coder. I'm 80% uh, a vibe coder there and 20% uh, I'm actually, I know on how the structure of Swift works. So in all my demos, uh, I'll tell you how I came up with the Swift code to be able to deploy the solution. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this and are okay with uh, being a part of my journey over the next seven week, uh, a seven week, seven app challenge. And thank you for listening. Bye-bye.